letters of recommendation, statement of intent, things change, okay? Help, you have a master's in physical therapy, now it's a doctor. Things change, things are changing all the time that people are unaware of. So you need to come in, sit down, you would have to fulfill all those requirements and make sure you have all those documents in, okay? That is the number one reason we say, if you're thinking about it now, don't wait till you're done graduating. You're coming up on that, come meet with us now. It might not be for you. You might say, you know what, I need a year off, let me see, but let's go through all the options. What an admissions counselor will do is go through all of our master's programs. People typically have an idea of what they're being drawn to. DPT, MBA, you might say, here's, after talking to you a little bit, we might say, what about counseling? You sound like you're in that realm of thing, that's what we do. And then we let you know, what are the GPA requirements? And we look at what your GSU grad, your um, when you graduate, what your um, GPA would be for the master's requirements. Every master's degree has different GPA requirements, as do undergrads. Some are 2.0, some are 2.5, some are 275. They're all different. That is why we push you come sit down and meet with us. And so we'll get going with the ball. The some programs DPT. It has certain admission times, it's very specific dates. MBA admits every single term. There's no deadline date for it. <coughs> but that might change. So because you hear me saying it now, they might make a decision to say, no, you have to apply by November 1st for January, whatever the case is. Okay? Does everyone understand? Like, I make an appointment. Take my card. Do you have my card? Make an appointment to come see me. We'll sit down. We'll go through. We have a full hour. We're going to go through, you know, what, what did you take in the interdisciplinary sites? How can we use it? Things like that. You know, even if it's, if you're at the tail end of it, it's not too late. So we can at least get something like that knocked out. Does anyone have any questions about that? Do, do you understand how you can really use this degree to your benefit if you're thinking about going on and beyond to a master's program or doctoral, whichever the case may be? Yeah. Um, you want to take this? I'm interested about the psychology management. Uh, I take some classes in the psychology field. Do you think like a minor in psychology or another major or? In the interdisciplinary studies degree? Uh -huh. You would actually have to, there's, if you look at our catalog, everyone should have a catalog when they started. Mm -hmm. It will have psychology minor. It will tell you what four, five, six classes you need to do that minor. That is how you would do a minor. So it's not just taking the three psych classes that you chose. If you're going to do a formal minor, you would need to actually see what classes GSU requires to fulfill a minor. And I will need to declare the minor and maybe follow all the procedures. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And again, the biggest thing is you got to work with your advisor. I mean, that some people get a study plan. That, that's a benefit to this is you got to keep on your toes since you don't, the first day you meet with them, you're not given a study plan. Here's what you need for the next six trimesters to graduate. You have to keep in communication with them. Again, if something changes, you know, there's an issue you want to minor, don't assume that because you looked in the catalog and you followed those classes, that's going to show up on a transcript because there is a process behind everything. You just keep in touch, undergrad, graduate with your advisor. Make sure that they know that you have this plan that you might be concocting in your head to do these concentrations and add a certificate on, things like that. When are you going to graduate? Hopefully in December. Okay. Yeah. But uh, from what I'm hearing, I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm on the right track. Okay. I took communications as my minor. Okay. I have three communications classes. I'm, I've already signed up for them. And uh, just based on what you just said, that does not transfer over to the master's program. No, like for instance, are you thinking about doing a master's in communications? I was, sort of. I'm not really too sure where I'm going. Okay. There, there, are, no, there, are, there no are no prereqs. So you could, you could come out with a master's in biology and go right into the master's in communications. That's it. The master's in communication has no prerequisites to go into the program. Every master's is so different. So you'd be fine oh. to go into the master's in communications. Okay. When you, if you're trying to do a formal minor, you want to work with your advisor and make sure that you were taking the proper things to yeah. you know, put it as a minor, but for What's master's in communications, it's a 2.0 and a bachelor's degree. 